Well everyone, we're back for another 1v1 today. We have Sean Flood with us today, so it's going to be a really interesting 1v1. Sean's going to tell you a bit about himself, for anyone that might not know him, so, Sean. Uh, my name's Sean Flood, I'm 25, grown up in Ireland. I played with Temple Oak from the age of five, all the way up through the academy. Played Super League with them as well, was able to win a national cup, so I was very lucky. Um, then I went and played college basketball for four years in America. I did two years in junior college in Florida and then transferred to a Division One school called Longwood in Virginia for my last two years. Uh, played my first year professionally last year in Germany and I'm currently playing with the Irish senior men's team and also a team professionally in Cyprus called Ammonia. You're playing this Sunday in mm -hmm. Ireland. Is there any other players that you think that might people might not know that should watch out if they're tuning in uh, to keep an eye out for on the Irish squad? On our team? Yeah. I mean, we're a very talented bunch. I'd say you'd learn something from anyone mm. 12 players playing. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people playing at a high level now, be it here in Ireland or yeah. a few playing professionally abroad. So, yeah, I'd say just look out for players playing your position. You might, you might pick up something from anyone. Else. Yeah, definitely. So we're, we decided beforehand it's going to be the same as Puffs 1v1, so reds, no rebounds. So you shoot, you just bring it back out straight away, and ones and twos. So that's it. Is there anything a defender can do with the way the game's gone in terms of those 36, 37 foot three pointers? When I mean, you defended it about as well as you can, at some point you've got to let a guy shoot that, don't you, and, and just live with the results? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a bad, bad shot. Um, I care what anybody says, that's a bad shot. Uh, but, hey, he made it. That story won't be told that it was a bad shot. Um, we live with that. So nice. You ready, Aaron? Yeah. I was just saying to Sean, his failure is like unstoppable. You'll see in a few of them, I thought I was close, but. No. Yeah, I mean, that's a bad, bad shot. The chance wasn't saving any ball.
be helping out. Staff the D3. Tough competition again. Still, still haven't won any games yet, but I think the win is coming soon. Ah, oh, yeah, no doubt, man, no doubt. Missed a few good shots there. Yeah, a few shot, tough shots I should have hit. Is there anything you want to say to people looking up to you, maybe, that want to try and make an Irish squad, just that are watching this? Um, yeah, I mean, like, I've been cut from teams in the past, years ago, and stuff like that, but uh, it's just sticking with it. Obviously, take the Take the kind of information on board that coaches are giving you. Um, don't blow them off. Just kind of be humble enough to accept what they're saying. Take it. Take it with a pinch of salt, and then I suppose go and work on it. Um, may not make a 16s Irish team or an 18s Irish team. There's a 20s Irish team to make. There's a senior Irish team to make. One of my teammates here there with the senior team during the summer, Neil Randolph, never made a, an underage team, and it was a huge part of our success there during the summer. So obviously sticking with it throughout uh, throughout the course of your career will, will stand to you. And for anyone that maybe doesn't know or doesn't know how to start, how many days a week would you have worked out like when you were trying to get onto them teams? Would when you... I was here? Yeah. Um, I was lucky playing with Temple Long, I was able to practice three, four nights a week, mm -hmm. um, play two games most weekends yeah. as well. Um, playing underage, maybe playing on two different teams and then playing up onto a senior team as well. I was in a fortunate situation but um, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't mean if you're not on two teams or whatever, you can't be working on your game. It's, yeah. I suppose, more time for individual skills than exactly, if you're not yeah. playing on two teams. So, um, yeah, it's important Like you put in 15 to 20 hours a week in basketball. That doesn't just mean on the court. It means flexibility, mobility, weight room, strength yeah. and conditioning, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, huge, huge hours to put in. So. Thanks, Mr. Sean.